Team Gantt is a Gantt chart experience that goes much further than just Gantt charts. Today, we're overviewing the free Gantt chart experience within it and whether it's useful for you and your team to manage a Gantt chart in today's project management world. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Francesco. We're going to be diving into this Gantt chart team Gantt, but if you're in the hunt for project management software or any sort of Gantt charts, we can find them over at Tool Finder. You can find the link in the description below, as well as a full in-depth review of Team Gantt if you're interested in checking it out, which will be linked below as well. So Team Gantt, it's weird because it's a fully fledged project management application, but it's weird because it's like <laughs> called Team Gantt. It's still got that association with the Gantt charts, but they do have a free Gantt chart experience, which you can sign up for as a manager to manage the whole system and add as, I think, as many free collaborators as possible to this free experience. I actually didn't notice there were any limitations to the free collaboration, but I noticed there is limitation to the managers. Now, as a whole, Team Gantt offers a project management layout, which includes lists, calendars, boards, discussions, people, workload management, um, and resource management as well. Um, but it actually is hidden away under the pro plan, which is priced at a strangely numbered number, <laughs> $59 per manager per month, which gives you access to 20 projects, but you are sort of defined between being a manager and a collaborator. So managers get certain access to certain abilities and vice versa with collaborators get less access to managing projects collectively, which makes sense because they're the manager. But uh, you can find a full overview of how that works and that breakdown in link inscription as well. So we're going to look at the free Gantt chart abilities. Um, it's actually pretty decent. Um, I did a full deep dive in this, but let's take a look at what it entails and how it works. So once you get started, you can essentially set up a Gantt chart and they have a bunch of templates when you get started. And actually they're pretty extensive. I picked the social media plan, one which I turned into an advertising campaign. And from here, you can manage your Gantt chart. Now, anything, any other button you click will push you towards the pro plan. But if you just stay on the Gantt area, you can modify filters, which allow you to narrow down dates, uh, people you're working with, and even colors that are involved inside of the Gantt chart, as well as zoom and viewing options, which allow you to give you week view and day view for managing your Gantt chart and all of the dependencies and progress within that. Now, you can either create tasks, a group of tasks, or a milestone when setting things up. And this is perfect for managing things as a team and connecting up one task with another and that is a dependency. Now you can open up each of the tasks and actually add more detail like notes, comments, and subtasks as well. You can indicate progress as well, which is really nice. And if you want to, you can add files two to this, which helps to better a collaboration. Now, in terms of smaller features, you can access some tasks by clicking without going into the task, and you can even add discussions to each of the areas that you're collaborating on as well. Now, one thing I would note about this is the Gantt chart abilities were really easy to use because I was able to just move stuff around quite easily, and being able to move it was actually, in terms of performance, very fast. I used this on web, and actually it was really smooth and easy to use. Now, if it looks very traditional in its nature, that's because it is. It actually works very traditional in its sense, but actually practical in its performance, which makes it quite an easy setup when getting started with this Gantt experience. Now, one of the things you'll probably find as a con to this experience is that it's naturally forcing you to the pro plan, which there is a light pro plan too, which is priced at $24, but it gives you less access to the different views that you might find in the Team Gantt experience that is in the pro plan. But all in all, this is a really easy way to get started with Gantt, and especially if you're somebody that is a team that's wanting to just experience whether this is a decent setup for managing stuff, this is helpful. But the real magic, I think, will be in the upgrade from list to calendar to board and much more in terms of getting access to all of the features. I will be doing a full review of Team Gantt in terms of its project management abilities in a few weeks. So do check out for that video. But in the meantime, if you want to check out our full review of Team Gantt, you can find that linked below, as well as insight into other project management softwares if Team Gantt wasn't quite for you. So hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully I hit the amount of 
words saying Gantt a million times and you're sick of it. <laughs> but that's uh, the order of the day today. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all in a future video. And feel free to check out Toolfinder if you're in the hunt for productivity tools. Bye.